Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Akash, a third year medical student in Far Eastern Federal University. In today's video, we are going to discuss about first year MBBS subjects in Russia. I know the duration of this video is long, but uh, the main purpose of this video is to help you. So get comfortable because this will be a detailed video full of valuable information. So let's get started. Also, I would like to say that everything we are discussing here, all the syllabus, study material, books, notes, everything I have added to my new Telegram channel, which is more organized. So I will recommend you to join that you can join by scanning this QR code or joining from that link below so now let's start the video feeling like Moses man of Lord chose us now we gotta find our way feeling like David man I done gave him all I gotta find my way you never feel me I'm still feeling like Jonah brother turn low now how we gonna find our way feeling like Moses man of Lord chose us so in this video we will be discussing what subjects are taught in your first year, what is the difference between Russia and Indian education system, what are the types of the subject and what is the exam pattern like. Also I will be telling you what you can start studying before coming to Russia from NCRT NEET syllabus so you can get prepared for the upcoming topics. So first let's start what are the types of subject you will be studying in your first year. So these are broadly divided into two categories. So one is exam and the other one is credit. So first let's talk about exam subjects. So exam subjects are the core subjects of your syllabus. So in this type of subject in exam you will be marked out of five. For example four out of five, three out of five like this you will be marked out of five. Also final exam differ from subject to subject. It might be practical, it might be theoretical. For example, for my basic nursing exam, I was asked to perform intradermal and intravenous injection. Also for anatomy, you will be asked to identify the parts of the bone, the foramens. So I mean to say that that pattern of exam differ from subject to subject. It might be practical, it might be theoretical, it might be pen and paper. So that's for exam. So the next point is after the exam you will be marked out of 5 after all of your exam your rating will be calculated it will be the average sum of all of your subjects so what is rating why does it matter so in short rating is average of your academic year score so on the basis of your rating your next year dormitory will be provided so now let's talk about the credit subject so these are the additional subjects in your syllabus they are grade is just pass and fail you just need to meet the basic criteria of the subject and you will be passed for passing these subjects you need to attend classes do assignments make presentation and small tests are conducted for it also it doesn't affect your overall rating also i would like to add that subject differ from university to university for example in india everything is centrally controlled by nmc the nmc decides subjects syllabus teaching hours and exam pattern for all colleges in india this means whether you study in mumbai or delhi the subject of your first year will be same for example anatomy physiology and biochemistry so i mean to say that everything is standardized by nmc in india i think it is a good thing so now let's talk about in russia so in russia colleges and universities are more autonomous each university can decide what subjects to include in first year how to divide exam and credit subjects even the teaching approach differ a little that's why you will see extra subjects in Russia like philosophy physics informatics Russian language alongside the medical subjects even the university fee and internal rules are set by university itself not by a single authority so now let's talk about what are the subjects which come under these two categories now let's talk about these subjects one by one so first let's start with anatomy as you know it is one of the most important subject of your first year how you will study is first you will start with bones then muscle then joints then system and then your anatomy so this will be the sequence to make this video shorter i am not reading each topic out so everything will be mentioned in the description so now let's move on to the next subject which is biology so biology consists of 11th and 12th syllabus kind of and some extra topics as you can see on the screen these were the topics which were taught to us they might differ a little with time so now you have a basic idea so now let's move on to the next subject which is latin language you might be wondering why we need to study latin language 
because when you will be reading the atlas there you will see the names in latin in order to understand and decode those words you need to learn the latin language so basically the latin works as a common medical language for example as you can see on the screen that uh, sulcus frontalis inferior this decodes to frontal lobe groove and lower so the lower frontal groove in order to understand like this you need to learn latin language also as i'm in third year some concept from my first year latin subject come again in pharmacology so that's why you must learn latin language properly in order to understand the atlas and upcoming subjects in future now the next subject is histology so you will be studying all these topics as you can see on the screen biology cell membrane epithelial tissue connective tissue all of these types of tissue and all the systems you will be seeing under the microscope and studying their organelle structures and all so i think this is a important subject for first year which on which you should focus more so for studying histology everything will be provided by teachers but uh, i will recommend if you have enough space in your luggage you can bring inder beer singh so if you have enough space then you can bring otherwise the pdf everything will be provided in the description so the next subject is basic nursing again you might be wondering why need to study basic nursing we are here to become a doctor so why we need to study that so before becoming a doctor we need to understand how patients are taken care of how patients are cared for a day to day basis nursing gives us a foundation how to take care of patients carefully learn some practical skills and respect the role of nurses in a healthcare system so in this subjects you will study and practice things like as you can see on the screen this will be whole syllabus you will be studying hygiene and infection control how to take care of patient how drugs are administered and procedure in certain catheter giving anemia also nasogastric tube and providing oxygen therapy so this all will be studying in basic nursing subjects so that's all for basic nursing so the next subject is russian statehood it is not a medical subject it is more kind of a general subject subject that help us to understand russia as a country so in this subject class we usually work as a group and make presentation on different region of russia like moscow primorsky like this on these types of region so the good part is this is not hard just by attending class in making presentations you can easily get good marks it's more about participating participating and presenting your idea rather than memorizing the next subject is russian language so you will be taught in english language for your whole 6 year but russian language you must because outside the class everyone speak russian language from cab driver market shopkeeper so everyone speak russian language so it is a must in first year as you can see on the screen these are the books you will be studying so these are the books on the screen as you can see i will link them down below you will start learning with the alphabets then their pronunciation then the words will be combined and then you will be pronouncing them then after that you will be memorizing the meanings of the word for example what is window in russian language it is akno so like this you will be learning words small words then big sentences so that's how you will be learning russian language in your first year so now let's move on to the next subject which is medical chemistry well this was my week part in neat and here it is back as a medical student we cannot dodge chemistry so in this subject you will be study as you can see on the screen the syllabus it might differ a little but the basic idea here it is there will be practical work overall it will be a fun subject except all the equations so the next subject is history of russia again it is an extra subject you just need to engage with the teacher make some present presentations and everything will be sorted in this subject you will be study about modernization of russia russia in world war 1 all these topics you will be studying in this subject the next subject is philosophy for me this was in my first year but as of now it might be in your second year of mbbs so for this subject it is a chill subject so you just need to engage with the teacher the next subject is physical training for this you just need to get dressed up properly in sports equipment and attend the classes for this subject classes you will be going to sports building or ground do some exercise and 
and teacher will mark your attendance so that's all you need so these were all the subjects of your first year these were the exam subjects and these were the credits so now i will be giving you advice out of my experience how to approach these subjects for anatomy i will recommend you to start learning from first semester like from the first week so don't skip any classes and start learning all the parts of the bone muscles joints neuroanatomy so anatomy should be your first priority the next is biology so for biology there are certain sets of question like 120 question are there which you need to answer in final exam so out of these 120 question you will be getting 3 to 4 question in exam so i will recommend you to start preparing these question from your first week itself so biology it's an 11th or 12th kind of syllabus some additional microscopic topics so that's all for biology the next next is latin language for latin language i will recommend you to start learning from basic learning the grammatical rules and everything will be all right you just no need to memorize memorize you just need to learn the grammatical rule and everything will be good the next is histology for histology i will recommend you to start building your base or learning from starting from all the types of organelle unicellular multicellular what are the types of organelle what are their function start from the basic and after that learning all the systems their layers and everything so for histology i will also recommend you to start learning from first week itself so the next subject is basic nursing so as i told you all the syllabus as you have seen that it contain all the practical lessons in your first year so i will recommend you to not miss any classes for basic nursing and practice as much as you can the next is russian statewood so the only thing you need to do is engage with the teacher answer some question make some ppt so that's all for russian statewood subject the next is russian language so it is a credit subject but later it will be get converted in your exam subject in your second year final so i will recommend you to learn russian as much as you can because this will be a very important to communicate and learning the language will open up more ways for you so i will highly recommend you to learn russian language the next subject is medical chemistry for this there will be practical classes you will be going to labs also it consists of basically 11th and 12th chemistry syllabus so no need to worry everything is okay so the next subject is our history of russia philosophy and physical training these you know these are the easy subjects you just need to attend classes engage with the teacher so that's all for these subjects so now you know all the subjects and their importance in your first year so divide your energy according to that like anatomy should be your main priority Russian language should be a second then latin like this so now let's understand the exam pattern how exam is taken in your first year so exam differ from subject to subject also from university to university for biology and anatomy exam will be taken by 5 to 6 teachers so for your whole first year all the students exam will be taken on one day exam is conducted like for whole first year students will be standing outside class going one by one taking question paper then preparing for 10 minutes then you will be going to the teacher explaining the question which you have got in your ticket for anatomy he might ask you parts of bone on real bone you have on anatomy you need to answer the teacher on bones this is the this part this is this foramen so for anatomy this might be like this so same for biology the difference there will be no bones for other subjects for the extra subject like history russian language your class teacher will take your exam like who teaches you that subject he will take exam so it is a good thing that he know how much you know he know your academic performance and like whole year he is teaching you he know you personally so it is a good thing so also you might get automatically pass you does not require to give any exam so if you perform good in whole academic year teacher might give you automatically pass on the basis of your performance so that's how exam are conducted in your first year so what if i fail in my exam so what will happen like how many chances will i get so now let's talk about this so let's say you got failed in your anatomy so if you fail you will given an extra chances after 1 to 2 months the time period differ after how much time commissions are conducted so you will be given time to prepare again so again you will be given chance for first commission if you doesn't pass that also you will be giving another chance which is second commission this is more serious one so you are provided chances if you fail in these subjects so you might be thinking that uh, if i fail i will get another chance so it's okay 
so how it will affect you is that after exam your total rating will be calculated for example you get 5 in all subject in one subject you get 4 so your rating will be 4.8 so on your basis 4.8 your dormitory is allotted for next year so if you are fail in any subject your marks will be updated zero so 5 is equal to minus 1 so your rating will be 4 so on 4 your dome will be allotted for next academic year so more the commission less the rating so on the basis of that your dome is allotted in this way you will be affected if you get failed so after you pass the subject your marks will be updated again in the system and your rating will be calculated again out of 5 so again points will be added to a rating and your rating will be higher again so now let me tell you what you should study before coming to Russia. You will be having a lot of time between your admission. So first thing I will recommend you to do is revise 11th and 12th MCRT again. Also I will recommend you to learn Russian language words, their pronunciation and learning the basic words like thank you sorry this kind of word which might be helpful in your journey and after reaching here the next thing i will recommend you to do is learning all the systems digestive respiratory these types of topics so again you will be reading after reaching here you will have more time to focus on other things while teachers are teaching these types of easy topics so these are the points i will recommend you to learn before coming to russia so in this video we have covered everything you need to know before coming to russia regarding the academics don't forget to engage with this video so that's all for this video hopefully i'll see you in the next one till then bye feeling like jonah brother john lona how we gonna find our way feeling like moses man the lord chose us